Got another harder titration calculation for you to try. This one's about amino acids or alpha amino acids. So if you haven't studied them yet, maybe you might want to wait until you have. Otherwise, there's the question. So just pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so the first thing I want to mention is the general formula for alpha amino acids. So we've got this general formula here. Got a variable R group. So obviously that's going to be one of these. Uh, and the whole purpose of the calculation is to work out which amino acid was involved in the titration. So like I always do, just got these little diagrams with all the information on just to try and uh, make sense of what's happened. So they've taken a known mass of alpha amino acid, dissolved it in a 250 cm cube volumetric flask. They've then put it into the burette and titrated it against 25 cm cube samples of that concentration HCl and they've established a mean titra of 21.3 cm cubed of amino acid to neutralize the acid. So the thing we haven't got in this question is an equation and we expected to know what it would look like. So I'm going to use that general formula of the alpha amino acid and bring in the HCl. And just a reminder about the chemistry of these things, the amino group specifically the nitrogen, it's got a lone pair on it, can accept the H plus from the acid and it becomes this positively charged ion and it leaves a Cl minus ion. So effectively you're going to make a salt of the amino acid. The important thing from that is that the reaction, the mole ratio in the reaction is one to one. Okay, so in the calculation, the first thing we can do is work out the moles of hydrochloric acid that have been used concentration times volume but remember the volume has to be in decimeters cubed so you can see that's coming out at 3.75 times 10 to the minus 3 so because of this mole ratio 1 to 1 we now know that there's that many moles of the amino acid in that 21.3 cm cubed titra so now we know the moles of amino acid in this volume here we want to know how many moles were in the original solution and hence how many moles are in that mass of amino acid. So the way we do that is if we divide the moles by the volume that they were found in, so 21.3, and then multiply by 250, it'll scale it up to how many moles were actually in there. So you can see that's coming out at 0.0440. I'm keeping the full number in the calculator. So the MR of the amino acid is going to be the mass divided by those moles. And you can see that's coming out at 131. Okay, so what we need to do now is work out what the mass of the, or the MR of the R group is. So we're gonna subtract the all the known mass from the general formula of the alpha amino acid. We're gonna subtract that from that 131 and see the MR of the R group that's left behind. So that's coming out at 57 for the R group. So you can see what I've done there. There's that general formula again. I've worked out the MR of the, the bit we do know. That's the 74. So take that away from the 131 MR. Gives us an, an MR for the R group of 57. So all we need to do now is go back to that table of R groups and see which one has an MR of 57. And the answer is leucine. 